Hey, everybody, and welcome back to some more Monster Sanctuary. How are we all doing today? Before we really just jump right on into it, do not forget to, of course, leave a like and a comment to show how much you guys are enjoying this content. It is a great way to support me, as well as to let me know what you guys are thinking about everything. And of course, if you happen to dislike this content, then please, tell me why. Because I cannot make any changes if I do not know why you do not like something. Oh, so there's a way to transform your monsters back? Interesting. Close. Ah, we don't need to bite them. So anyway, here we are, back in the underworld, Hades' land. Land of the damned and the dead. The dead damned damnations. Ah. Ah. Ooh, we spread the burn, the weakness. Oh, so good. So good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's good. Oh, that's so good. Let's go. So close. Thankfully, they're both all very, very herded. So, let's just do what we can to just destroy. Why does it feel like Vasuki's um, MP levels are super duper low? Probably because they are. Yeah, that's probably right. But anyway, who the heck knows what's going to be happening next? I barely know what's happening now. Nice. Nice for all of the levels. Alright. Oh, we don't do buffs. I don't know. Magic proc would be nice. Barricade would also be nice. Yeah, grab that. Excellent. Oh. An orange. Okay, that moves it back up. Interesting. Oh yeah, I made a good choice. Silver. Silver, silver. Silver, silver. Anyway, um, I don't really know what we're doing. I don't really know what this layout looks like. Obviously, I've never played this before. And I don't really want to look things up if I can help it. I'll look up if we get lost or need to find something. Why did we just stay in there? That was the dumbest fucking thing we could have done. So what did we do? Naturally, we stood there. I'm just like, what the fuck, Frank? Come on, Frank. You could literally do anything else. So what did you do? You did nothing else.
All right, let's go. Let's go. How dare they kick me? How dare they burn me? How dare they shielding leaves me? Gonna ignite this guy and let him burn all night. He'll burn, he'll burn so bright. Alright, that should guarantee that they all die right here. Told ya. More eggs. Good job, Vasuki. Mm. We don't have. We have one neutral attack, but we don't utilize it, so. Um. Not really seeing anything too interesting in terms of what I want, so we'll grab the defense plus. Cool. Ah. Oh, just barely. Darn. Ah. Oh. We'll come back to that later. Gosh, there's so many things for us to explore it. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, that's so good. Ah, uh, I still can't go that way, though. Let's see if we can't get that treasure. That's me. So to get that, we have to go around from the top down and then, ugh. Ugh. Curse my SATs! My shiny acquisition tendencies! Oh god. Oh god. Ugh. Um, don't you have a ghost dog? Yeah, what about it? Um, why don't you just use that? Um... Because until I mocked myself, I forgot I had a ghost dog. You don't stay invisible forever, just a little bit.
Level badges. Oh, does this connect us to the Sun Palace? It does. Oh, hey! And that's two! Nice. Two slime statues activated. We got to make it faded, activated. Do, 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 do. what I thought. Susp. How susp? Very susp. Which is why we solved it. Hell yeah, did. And that explains why we couldn't get there. Interesting that the Sun Palace connects to the Underworld, though. What do you think? Little Zosp. Alright. Who's that guy and why does he look dead? Oh, we'll probably have to find him real soon. Alright, what do we got? What have we got here? It's a giant circle. Mm. <laughs> We're being led into a trap. I'm just going to tell you that right now, kiddos. And the fact that we keep getting revival items makes me very worried. Very susp. Mm. Are we supposed to trap him? I see what you're supposed to do. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so we're supposed to leave this open. Close that. Because now we can't go that way. There we go. God, we're just running. We were literally running in circles. Ah, fuck. Oh. Spinner. All right. All right, glory cast babies. All right, we got the double poison and we got a double burn. We're gonna get a double frost on the dude. Triple Frost, let's go!
I can survive Poisson. Four, five, six, seven. Oh, yeah. Oh no, my chance of avoiding things has gone down. Whatever will I do? One more turn should do it. Oh, I see what counterfeit does now. So, in case you're curious, what does counterfeit do? What it do is it copies one of the last moves you've done. And, uh, basically uses it for himself. At least that's what I'm getting out of it. There's a chance. Yeah, we killed him. Let's go. Got the spinner egg. Nice. Um, yeah, I guess we could get a uh, Promethean light shifted because we don't have one. I and then. We have a light shifted air agri off, but we don't have a dark shifted one. There we go. We have a dark shifted Caragla though. Hmm. There's our Caragla one. I don't think we do. It's so cute. Anyway. Okay, so we killed the spinner. What does that do for us? What is your ability, spinner? Oh, just ghost form. <laughs> Something we already got. We missed something we can do. Which I just figured out. That's open now. I'm trying to remember what like opens what, where, why, when, and how. 
Looks like it's Lennon. Why is he skulking around here? Oh, it's you. I didn't notice you there. I suppose I was lost in thought. Probably already noticed that my most loyal companion, my spectral lion, is gone. Fought against one of the alchemists and gave me a lot to digest. You're sorry for your loss, Leonard. The same thing happened to Will. But that's not everything. You see, I believe I recognize that alchemist. He wore a grinning mask and called himself Chimes. But that's not his real name. I believe his na real name is Richard, my older brother who went missing a few years ago. What? That must have been quite a shock. During the fight, I wasn't sure of it yet. There was something deeply unsettling about him, but I only realized it after the fact. See, since he was older than me, Richard was always destined to have the special lion. He hatched the first monster from a very early age and quickly became known as a very smart and talented monster keeper. He's considered a genius who could possibly rise to the rank of Keeper Massa. However, however, those closest to him knew that there was a dark side to him as well. He was overambitious, always ready to sacrifice his own monsters if it meant he could capture a champion monster and advance his esteem. Family feared that it was too risky to pass the spectral familiar on to him, that it could corrupt him even more. However, it didn't help him either when they chose me to be the spectral keeper instead. He ran off and nobody heard from him since. I always took pride in the fact that I was chosen over him to be the spectral keeper, but deep down I knew it was only thanks to happenstance. Losing to him confirmed it for me. So it seems like Richard joined the alchemist because they offered him that which he was denied. Just like how the alchemists want to regain that which they believe they deserve to have, a place in the old world. If they don't get what they want, they resort to trickery and underhanded schemes. Is that really the legacy that they want to leave on this world? Razy seemed showed us that they could be better than that. Anyway, we should be careful with Richard, or as he calls himself, Chimes. He has stolen two spectral familiars so far. That is true. More than anything, that has shown me just how serious this situation is. Richard didn't just steal my familiar for his own personal uses. There must be more to it. When he defeated me, he said something about how their leader Marduk would be so pleased with them. We gathered as much too. The entire sanctuary is tied to our power, so it's quite troubling that they are targeting us. That is why we have to do all in our power to stop them. Mind you, just because I lost my brother doesn't mean I'm giving up. So plenty of strong monsters to form a powerful team. I will get stronger and prove that I deserve to be a spectral keeper. Looks like you didn't lose your resolve. That's great, Leonard. For now, you may take the lead. I will stay here a little while longer. That does suck. Like, I couldn't imagine if I had, you know, um, my sacred crow right alongside me and then it was stolen from me. Ugh, oh, that would be the worst. You know? Why did I just do a giant freaking circle, dude? Ha ha! Interesting. Switch stone. Excellent. They really give you the opportunity to uh, play with your monsters in whichever way you want them. There's gotta be another way around this, but it's not looking like there is. Mm. I guess it doesn't fully matter then, so I guess we will go and lower this again so that we can go through here. If we could get up there without needing... Oh, we can get up there. Hold on. This is all giant puzzle, and I love it. Like, they're not pulling their punches at all with this. Like, these are puzzles to be puzzled over. You need to solve them. You need to sacrifice. You must learn. Adapt, change. Like some of the earlier puzzles were, you know, quite obviously super easy. Others, however, really made you have to pause, really 
think about what's happening, what you want to happen, and all of that. But now, you know, we're we're really we're really thinking, we're really pondering, puzzling, puzzling good. And I think that's what I enjoy about this, and what I think you guys are going to enjoy when we get back into Koromon. Which, don't forget, that's starting on... Da, 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 Saturday. And then, of course, going to be taking over Tuesday, Thursdays. So, we meet again, Keeper. I don't know how, but you managed to prevent the Monster Sanctuary from shifting towards darkness. And now you are here. You might very well be the most capable the Sanctuary has to offer at the moment. The Sanctuary was only saved thanks to one monster's sacrifice. You underestimate how much a single person or a single monster can do. Regardless of your actions, the tides of history cannot be averted. The Order of the Alchemist is a force that has shaped the fate of the world for thousands of years. Those who think that our order can be reduced to a footnote in history are wholly mistaken. It's not what we're trying to do. The Order of Alchemists could very well make the Sanctuary's new helm as long as you're not they're not causing any trouble. Razi's already understood that and turned away from Marduk's teachings. That traitor doesn't deserve to call himself an alchemist. He's still practicing alchemy because he cares about keeping alchemy alive. He's a true alchemist. As long as we are forced to stay here, we are all nothing but prisoners. We are deprived of our freedom to go where we want to go. That's what the old world has done to us. Keeper should be the ones turning over to our cause, not the other way around. But in almost 500 years of sanctuary history, the monster keepers have never dared to dream of escaping from their self-made prison. And what's worse is that you force monsters as well as people like us to share in your pitiful delusion. Over the centuries, the Sanctuary has amassed a formidable array of monsters as well as keepers who have learned to control them. Time has come to mobilize the force that the Monster Sanctuary has become to take over the entire world. The Monster Sanctuary represents so much more than just that. You grew up to be a monster keeper and later decided the alchemist is correct. If you grew up in the Sanctuary and yet cannot see for it see it for anything but a force to be used for the conflict we can't help you if that is truly how you see the sanctuary we have no choice but to stop you even if you did stop us don't you think others would eventually come to the same conclusion as us as i said the tides of history cannot be averted we represent more than just the will of our leader marduk we represent a change that will sweep across the world you seek the key of power don't you i uh, have already found it it's in the treasure chest right behind me but that is not all i found the stone plate next to me has runes written on it which allow the one who deciphers them to summon a powerful monster. Unfortunately for you, I also already managed to decipher those runes. Behold, great Fafnir, grant me fierce cunning and dark resolve to smite those who stand in my path. Aw, it's a cute little Drago. Draco Noir. Glory cast. Cast it for glory! Alright. Ah, one more poison would be great, but we're gonna get him up to triple freeze! Let's go! Hell yeah. Oh, we're gonna destroy him faster than we uh, destroyed the uh, other thing. Oh, you blinded me, you son of a bitch. Unfortunately for you, I don't need to attack with this guy. Four, five, six, seven. He's dead next turn no matter what happens, so we're golden. Salt in the wound, salt in the wound. Deep freeze. Uh, 
Easy. You ascended to keep a champion! Once again, you managed to best meet Keeper. Perhaps you may be able to coil the tides of history for now. You may take the key of power and proceed to the abandoned tower. There you will face the combined power of the Order of Alchemists. The fate of our order shall be decided there. That's the key of power. There's no doubt about it. I can feel that there's some powerful magic inside of it. We've come quite a long way, haven't we? Now we'll even open the door to the abandoned tower. It's located beyond the mystical war sh workshop, which is above this keeper stronghold. We should make sure that we are ready before we go through there. Ooh, Persephone's Journey is the achievement we just got. Which makes sense. It's the journey through the underworld. What happened to Julia? You know, I'm, I'm real suspicious of her. There's just something about her that's always kind of struck me as kind of... She's just in the right place too often. You know what I mean? Suspicious! Anyway. Everyone's got some freeze, everyone's got some burn, everyone's got some poisson. Yeah, if these guys don't die, like... We could be in some trouble. some ice shielding simply because like okay. I wasn't sure if we were gonna have an issue or not and I was just like just in case all right my guys are all really close to a level up so we're gonna have to go get that level up It'd be kind of fun, you know, to like, later on play with the idea of, wow, you killed one of my monsters. Unheard of. Despicable. Um, would it be fun to play with different like typing, uh, As in, like, oh, let's get a electric build, because right now we are a poison uh, ice build. So, just to be able to see, like, what kinds of different things could we get successfully and everything, you know? So many people are close to more level ups. I want that.
see, yeah, we don't have that. Yeah, I would like to play with like, oh, let's do blah builds or uh, this build or something. Like, that'd be kind of fun. I'm not going to because I, I don't want to. I want to, like, we just got so many more games to play and explore. And I want to get to those first, you know. Maybe we can come back and replay with this and be like, you've got to use different monsters. Okay. next turn. Honestly, all these guys are going to be dead, so... And then we'll just do this for icing on the cake. You know how it is. Hey, 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 hey. Giant seeds. Dang. Alright. So we've got two Draco knobs now. Because we got a Draco knob when we uh, beat that boss, but we also got like an evolutionary item. So let's see what happens. Got the dark stone. Hell yeah! Oh, nice! That looks sick! What else? Do we got anything else here? Uh, let's take a look at our monster journal. How many monsters are we missing still? Sizzle Knight? No, we have a Sizzle Knight. Because if we didn't, we wouldn't have... Yeah, like, we don't have a Nautilid. Which I could easily go get. Same with an Elder Gel. Got a Manticorb. Oh, we don't have a Glodra? Or a Draco Grand. Look at the rainbow blob, you're adorable! All right. Um, cocoon. You. Hey! Got a glow drop, let's go! So who else were we missing? Not a lid. An elder gel. Other than that, oh, we don't have a Draco Grand. Hold on. Oh, do I need to use volcanic ash on a Draco knob? I don't know, dude. Well, either way. So I guess I will evolve another Draco knob. 
Just so we got one. And then I guess we'll give the rest of our monsters to here. Oh, we got a shift stone. Let's go. Three big potions. want to donate one of the oh well oh well bandana an orange a sustain ring big potion phoenix serum Upgrade anything with you. Your shuriken can't be updated? Damn, we need more rupees. Oh, you must be that new keeper champion everyone's talking about. It's thanks to monster keepers like us, the sanctuary is safe. Good job. Thank you. Oh, banana. I bought another orange because 36 mana is great. What do you got? Probably only gives me things that we've actually managed to, like, get to. You know what I mean? Well, what was that? You need to feed three more to become a Dragoon, eh? Nice. Alright. I would like to fight the Elder Gel, please. The only one we have that is not a rank 5. Wait, didn't we get one of these at rank 6? No. We're gonna end this Elder Gel. If it's the last thing I do! Ah, we didn't get weakness on it, damn it. Oh well. Jesus Christ, dude. What do we want to do? There we go, we got the double poison, double the burn, let's go. 
See, the problem is this is why I it's gonna be so difficult is because it is a um, it resists basically all of the elements. Ah. Oh, when it hits me with that, it loses. Okay. There we go, and that, a chill, uh, that applies a chill as well. Uh, I got rid of both of my, uh, burns, though, unfortunate. Jeez. Yeah, this elder gel is definitely an issue. I gotta get this burn back on it, unfortunately. There we go. It's just extra damage, like... There's no question about how important the damage to get on it is, like... As much as we can stack. Alright, next turn it dies. I can almost guarantee it. Almost. Alright, you're gonna go first. You're gonna build that combo up. Then we're gonna hit it. Take more of that out with thanks to your combo. And then we're gonna special flame it to death. <sighs> Come on, give us a perfect. Ah, worse than last time. Damn, dude. It's online arena. Bleh. I'm guarding the entrance to a sacred place, only so keep a masses may enter. And the way to get there is a different way? Am I missing something? I think we might be stumped here. Actually, let's run over there real fast. Uh, before we end it for today, I want to see if we can somehow, like, sneak through over here. Or if, like, I need to figure it out. I guess it doesn't matter if we go up or down. We just go this way. Said it was above here, so that's why I was just like, oh, maybe there's a room. I 
Ah, uh, poopsicles. This is the way. Switch down. Hey, we found it. Let's go. I'm a genius. You all doubted me, but I am a genius. Nice. Anyway, this is exactly where I think we should leave it off and we will pick up again on Thursday for our last Thursday. Of Monster Sanctuary before this switches to Saturdays. So, anyway, thank you everybody for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and until the next time, everybody. Hey, Funker Purple.